Well, Haiti was one of the Caribbean nations hit hard by Hurricane Matthew. So joining me now here is Kerry Murray. She is with Shelterbox, an international disaster relief charity. Um, and we have to say, this is not the first time Shelterbox has been involved with a natural disaster in Haiti, because you guys were there during the earthquake, and now you're heading back because mm -hmm. of Hurricane Matthew. What are you expecting? We were, John. So Shelterbox is preparing every single day for the worst day ever. Uh, in the 2010 earthquake, Shelterbox brought in emergency shelter and tented supplies, so tents, water purification units, blankets, ground mats. Uh, we've provided about a third of all tented shelter in the 2010 earthquake. Uh, you saw a million people displaced with that earthquake. In this situation, you're seeing about 350,000 people that are in need of humanitarian aid. They're, they're estimating about 14,000 people in need of emergency shelter. With the hurricane that came through as a Category 4, as you know, it, they sustained 250 kilometer an hour winds. And so in those situations, you're seeing the, the, the wind just shear off the roofs of the homes. You're seeing extensive flooding, different situation than we saw in the earthquake, some different needs that we're also seeing as a result. And, and knowing Haiti, because you've been there, you've been there in a disaster, you know what the infrastructure of the country mm -hmm. is like. Um, Clearly, this, this is a impoverished country, the poorest in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. Dealing with these kind of natural disasters is, is obviously a challenge for the government. They open shelters, but we understand those shelters are overflowing. So something like this, is th the tents which you, you bring in, mm -hmm. are crucial, especially in the first couple of days, in the first couple of weeks? Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. So, you know, with the flooding and the situation we're seeing and the extensive winds, it's likely that what we'll be providing are actually shelter kits. So those are kits that actually help you shore up a home. So there's tarpaulins and tools to actually help secure and, and put a roof on a home. In addition, what you're seeing is contamination of the water source and cholera, still an issue in this country. So we'll be, be looking to bring in things like mosquito nets, water purification units that can eradicate the viruses and bacteria in the water, uh, and also other essential items like solar lights, so you see communication and power outages. Uh, one of the central arteries that you see from Port-au-Prince to the southern, plat southern peninsula is a bridge that has completely yeah. collapsed. So we're going to look and really start to do our assessments. We've deployed the emergency response team. We're sending teams in from North America as well as across Europe and New Zealand. They're arriving and we'll be working with local officials to assess what's needed most. Clearly there is an expectation of how long someone will live uh, with a shelter box, with mm -hmm. the, the supplies that you bring them. Mm -hmm. There is your assessment and then there is reality. Right. Often how long is this a home for somebody in a situation like Haiti right, right. now? So in terms of the, the tented shelter, it's really meant to, to help someone in the short term. So the immediate response and really give them a place and give them the dignity and security to come back together literally as a family. The goal is not to keep set up camps and have people in this on a permanent basis. The reality sometimes is though in some countries, Haiti, the poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, one of the poorest in the world, 60% of the population on less than 250 a day. And so the situation even before Hurricane Matthew was 50,000 people still living in, in tents that were provided yeah. from the government and aid organizations after the earthquake. So, but the reality is, is we'll be looking to not just deploy um, emergency tented shelter, but where can we go in and provide shelter kits yeah. and help repair the homes the that have been damaged. The structures that are still standing. Exactly. Okay, can we thank you so much and good luck. Um, you thank do you good John. work and uh, we hope you, you get there and obviously get the aid that the people need. Thanks so much. Thank you.